let's clarify some of the issues relating to the ceasefire mechanism uh, here in Nagaland. Lots of, uh, I would say, misinformed uh, uh, comments, views, and uh, uh, opinions have been uh, published going around about the ceasefire mechanism, uh, even at times by very higher ups. Uh, so I thought it would be appropriate to clarify uh, some of the issues uh, related to the ceasefire mechanism. Uh, I will start uh, by a little bit of a self-introduction of myself, since this is my first uh, interaction with you all. I am Lefnijal Amarji Singh Bedi. Uh, I have been associated with Nagaland in some capacity or the other since uh, 1981 and more intimately or very closely uh, for the last four years almost when I have taken over this appointment in September uh, 2000. Uh, I will start by making an uh, opening statement about this uh, uh, the ceasefire mechanism and uh, thereafter if there are any questions or uh, any clarification which you want to seek uh, you are all uh, welcome to do that okay uh, just for the information of everybody the government of india has signed uh, the ceasefire agreement with five naga groups over a period of time and uh, these groups are nsc and im in 1997 NSCN Unification in 2012, NSCN R in 2015, NSCN Congo in 2019, and the last one, which was NSCN uh, Nikki uh, in 2021. Uh, the ceasefire has been signed basically uh, with the aim uh, to usher in uh, peace on the ground so that the political discussions uh, to resolve the Naga issue can move ahead in an atmosphere of uh, uh, trust, respect and peaceful conditions which are prevalent on the ground. Uh, the ceasefire, uh, for the information of everybody, has been signed incorporating elaborate ceasefire ground rules. All the Naga groups who have signed the ceasefire agreement with the, the government of India have committed to adhere to those ceasefire ground rules. Also, uh, side by side, uh, as the ceasefire mechanism goes on to facilitate uh, the uh, implementation of the ceasefire, certain instruments in the form of uh, uh, designated camps, uh, some of the ceasefire offices and even uh, ceasefire identity cards have been provided uh, to these uh, uh, groups purely from the administrative convenience and administrative point of view so that uh, uh, tasks related to the ceasefire uh, mechanism and smooth uh, follow-up of the ceasefire can go on. All these instruments and all these facilities which have been provided in no way, I repeat, in no way grant immunity to any of the groups to undertake violation of the ceasefire ground rules or carry out any unlawful activities. A ceasefire mechanism for Nagaland has been established by the government of India uh, basically to monitor and supervise adherence to the ceasefire ground rules. Uh, the ceasefire mechanism consists of representatives of the state government Nagaland Police, all the security agencies, the Ministry of Home Affairs, and also the ceasefire supervisory boards from all the groups which are in ceasefire with the Government of India. I am the chairman of the ceasefire monitoring group and ceasefire supervisory board, as I said, uh, since almost September 2000, for the last four years. And we see that the ceasefire ground rules are followed in letter and spirit by all the groups who have committed to the ceasefire agreement with the government of India. Regular meetings 
of the ceasefire uh, monitoring group and ceasefire supervisory board are held to resolve any differencing uh, differing perceptions or points of confrontation on the ceasefire ground rules between the two sides which are there and uh, also in addition uh, our office uh, that is the ceasefire monitoring office uh, continuously monitors uh, the adherence to the ceasefire ground rules on day to day basis by both the sides and uh, we endeavor to resolve any conflicting situations as well as any differing perceptions between any of these uh, parties uh, also on a day to day basis the efficacy of this mechanism can be judged uh, by you all in terms of the peace uh, which has prevailed in nagaland and uh, uh, for the last uh, couple of years in terms of uh, the uh, the resolution of uh, any of the conflicting situation so that they don't result into any violence and disturbance of the peaceful environment which is essential for carrying out the political negotiations to resolve the naga issue uh, also i will now come down to the present uh, imbroglio which uh, is there with uh, between nsc and uh, khango and some of the um, the agencies or civil society organizations which has been on for the last uh, couple of days uh, though of course our office has uh, not received any uh, complaint from any of the parties uh, but we have uh, definitely so much taken cognizance of uh, all these uh, media reports uh, which have been going and also uh, some of the comments or issues which have been conveyed to us verbally by some of the parties which are there uh the issue has been continuously monitored since uh, it came out in the open media uh, from the uh, outset itself uh, the group that is nsc in khango which is in uh, ceasefire with the government of india has been held accountable to all the uh, ceasefire ground rules which they have uh, uh, committed uh, to follow and uh, uh, in writing they have uh, conveyed uh, to our office i have the uh, written uh, submission to all the queries uh, raised by us uh, that uh, their group uh, runs on purely voluntary contribution and uh, their statement to apprise uh, one of the affected parties uh, of this uh, complete conflict uh, of the certain provisions of uh, uh, the jejabo uh, or the constitution which they follow may have been misconstrued as a, a life uh, threat or a capital punishment uh, it is not their intention uh, in any way uh, to violate any of the ceasefire uh, provision and uh, uh, in a written submission to our office they have uh, committed themselves uh, once again uh, to adherence to all the ceasefire uh, ground rules a uh, meeting of the larger ceasefire supervisory board consisting of representatives of uh, all the agencies that is the state government uh, the security agencies the alsn khango uh, group which were there was also held today uh, morning here uh, at 11 o'clock uh, and uh, the group in front of the larger forum also has uh, once again committed themselves uh, to adherence uh, to the ceasefire uh, ground rules and they have also assured uh, the larger forum uh, that uh, this issue will be resolved by them uh, in uh, uh, very early uh, time frame uh, we have urged from our side and uh, that this issue must not linger on because uh, it is uh, uh, in no way helpful to any of the parties and uh, they have uh, committed uh, to resolve this issue at the earliest the issue will be regularly monitored and we will see that uh, uh, the group continues uh, to adhere uh, to their commitment in the form of uh, all the uh, points of the ceasefire ground rules which they have agreed to uh, the ceasefire mechanism uh, functions 
as a collective forum. While I may be a, a chairman of the ceasefire uh, mechanism, I work as a chairman of a body which consists of members of uh, various agencies uh, out here. And uh, uh, it is a collective forum which uh, strives to see that uh, all uh, contentious uh, or conflicting uh, issues relating to the ceasefire uh, mechanism are resolved in any amicable manner. Uh, and the underlying principle always remains uh, with us in this larger forum to also see that uh, uh, peaceful conditions continue to prevail uh, in Nagaland uh, so that uh, the political negotiations uh, do not get disturbed and they can at least go on in an environment of uh, uh, mutual trust and uh, peaceful environment so that a uh, solution uh, to the whole problem can be found at the least. So that is uh, what I had to say just to clarify some of the issues uh, uh, which were there. Uh, the house is open for you all to uh, ask any questions if you all desire. But I will uh, request you all to restrict yourself uh, to questions relating to the uh, ceasefire mechanism. Uh, because there are other larger questions which uh, I may not be mandated to speak on. So I request you all to uh, restrict uh, yourself to speak uh, on issues related to uh, this particular uh, ceasefire uh, mechanism and the ceasefire ground. Let me clarify, uh, because that is uh, the misperception uh, which prevails that ceasefire uh, is only purely meant for uh, the, uh, the government agencies or other agencies. I will uh, just read out uh, some of the provisions uh, of the ceasefire uh, ground rules which have been signed uh, by or between uh, the government of India and uh, can I just have a glass of water? Uh, government of India and uh, uh, the, uh, the respective uh, groups uh, and also it affects uh, uh, the larger aspect of uh, uh, the Naga society also, and uh, that's why it, it needs to be. One of the clauses uh, of uh, uh, the ceasefire agreement says the NSA and K Khango would refrain from blockade of roads and communications and from any activity which would disturb the functioning of local and state governments and of economic or development activities as well as essential services. Another clause also says the NSA and K will refrain from extortions, forcible collections of money and supplies and intimidation of individuals including government officials. So these are the provisions of uh, the ceasefire ground rules which are there and let me assure you we hold all these groups accountable to their commitment in all these uh, provisions which are contained in the ceasefire ground rules. And uh, in this particular incident also, uh, NSN Khango has been uh, held accountable to violation of uh, some of the ceasefire ground rules. And uh, that is why uh, they have uh, in writing committed to us and also committed to us uh, that it is not their intention uh, to uh, issue out any threats or anything to anybody which is there. It may have been uh, misconstrued or and uh, they will endeavor uh, to resolve the issue uh, at the earliest in conjunction. Uh, ultimately, I do agree, it is a, uh, it's a problem which has to be resolved uh, by uh, the people amongst themselves. Uh, by the, uh, uh, but uh, since the groups are accountable to the ceasefire mechanism for uh, the ceasefire ground rules which they have committed to uh, follow, uh, they have been uh, held uh, responsible for those. And, uh, uh, due to uh, the efforts, I'm sure uh, they will get in touch with the uh, responsible people and resolve the issue at the earliest uh, as for the satisfaction of all the sides. See, uh, when the ceasefire agreement has been signed, all these groups have said that theirs is a people's organization. They represent uh, the people here in discussions with the government of India. And like any government which is there to sustain themselves 
they will only take voluntary contribution. And that, that is like any other political party, like any other civil society organization, so many other things. So they have committed that since they are a people organization, they are uh, the concerns of uh, uh, the agencies have been alerted that they do not force people and uh, they do uh, collect money, but that's the voluntary contribution to take further the cause of negotiations which are going on with the government of India. There is no violation of that. So uh, as far as uh, uh, mm -hmm. the ceasefire ground rules are concerned, I have read out what is uh, the ceasefire ground rules which say uh, and what restrictions are imposed upon them. Over and above these, there are no uh, ceasefire violations. They have uh, told us that uh, uh, inadvertently, they, there is no intention of theirs to uh, violate the ceasefire ground rules because they are wanting to stay uh, win ceasefire in the government of India and uh, their uh, complete intention uh, is uh, to uh, adhere to the ceasefire ground rules. But however, if there has been inadvertently or by uh, misperception, misunderstanding, if there has been a perception that they have violated the ceasefire ground rules, then they will take corrective measures to see that uh, this misperception is cleared and they will meet the parties concerned and resolve the issue. So, this so is you have seen in the news? Yeah, we, we, we do have uh, definitely on the report ceasefire uh, uh, mechanical which is there. Uh, of course, uh, started in uh, 1998. I am the 12th chairman of uh, the ceasefire mechanism with uh, uh, people from uh, uh, IAS, people from IPS and uh, even military officers connecting this appointment uh, which has been there. Uh, we, we have uh, the ceasefire uh, uh, rules or the ceasefire which is signed uh, between uh, the groups is reviewed every year. There is a, a proper review which takes place uh, in uh, Delhi because the ceasefire has been signed between the government of India and these groups. I am only a medium to see that this ceasefire is implemented uh, in letter and spirit as per the ground rules which both sides have committed to. So there is a, a meeting or an review which takes place on all the issues which are uh, there in uh, Delhi and uh, with the representative of all the agencies uh, which are there and uh, uh, the ceasefire is a dynamic process and uh, uh, every year a review is taken to see that uh, uh, how uh, this mechanism can be made uh, more effective or if there are any uh, uh, corrections or any uh, more provisions to be brought out uh, definitely uh, uh, the various agencies which are there participating in that review mechanism do uh, take uh, uh, that those mayors to see that uh, we continue to have this uh, uh, efficient mechanism to see that peace prevails uh, on the ground in the ground. Thank you. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokopchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.